the first grade friends and families. Welcome back. This is Miss Burns here, and we are working on week six, day five of our math lesson. This week we are living and breathing 1G3. That's our math standard, and that standard is asking us to partition shapes into quarters and fourths. Now we've talked previously about partitioning, and we know that partitioning is just a fancy word for breaking apart. But instead of doing halves, we're now looking at quarters or fourths, four equal parts. Our I can statements say, I can partition rectangles or squares, remember squares are rectangles, and circles into quarters and fourths. And I can describe one fourth as one quarter or one fourth of a whole. Let's talk about some of these words before we dive into it. We know that when we're partitioning, we've talked about this word a whole lot. Partition is just a fancy way of saying cut or break into parts. That's why we see the word part in partition. You can partition a shape in any kind of way you'd like, but we are trying to be very precise mathematicians and precise mathematicians don't just partition in any kind of way. They're going to do it into halves or quarters. Today we're talking about quarters and fourths. So if we have a whole that is divided into quarters, that means it's broken up into four equal parts. We can call each of those parts a quarter or a fourth. So we're living and breathing again in this far right side of our anchor chart on partitioning shapes. We know that if we have a whole, we're talking about all of that shape. If we have halves, we're breaking that shape into two equal parts. And with fourths or quarters, remember we can use the, those words interchangeably, they mean the same thing. We are breaking or partitioning our shape into four equal parts. Notice our square, our circle, and our rectangle have those red dotted lines. Those are showing our partitions or where we are cutting or breaking the shape into four equal parts. Those partition lines are not in the exact same spot on every shape. That's okay, as long as our quarters end up being four equal parts. On the bottom, we see we have a quarter of a brownie shaded in. That one blue square is one of four squares that that bro brownie was broken up into. It is one fourth of a whole, or one quarter of the whole. So now that we've talked about our vocabulary, we're going to find our way into iReady. Now I'm gonna show you exactly where to get this iReady video in the some more as soon as we finish. As we said on Wednesday, I know that my friends are very familiar with the taskbar on the bottom showing how much you have completed. There has been a whole bunch of instruction that's already happened in this video. I encourage you to go back and watch it in the some more. I'm gonna show you exactly how to access that. Right now we're working through the practice problems. If you're with me on Wednesday, you know that I put the volume on mute. It's getting giving some really fuzzy feedback, so I'm just gonna talk you through it. So our first question is, how many fourths? It could also say quarters. Remember, we can use those words fourths and quarters interchangeably, they mean the same thing, you can swap one out for another. How many fourths are in a whole square? Fourths. Wait a minute, I actually see the word four in here. It's almost like it's giving me a hint. And I know that fourths, if I, I have a whole broken into fourths, it's broken into four equal parts. So, I know Fourths are broken into four equal parts. And right now, iReady's going, you got it, do, 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 go, friend. Here's our next question. Which shape is divided into quarters? Well, we have a circle, a square, and a rectangle. When I look at my circle, I notice that it is partitioned or divided or cut into equal parts but I only see one, two, three equal parts. That's not quarters or fourths. Those are what we call thirds. That makes sense though, doesn't it friends? That some, a shape broken up into three parts, each piece would be called a third. We'll worry about that in second grade. Right now we're talking about quarters. So I want four equal parts. 
Well, my square is broken into four parts. Okay, four parts, four is quarters. And my rectangle is also broken up into four parts. One, two, three, four. But don't get tricked, my friends. Is my rectangle broken up into four equal parts? No, 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 no. These are not equal parts. On the top, we have one part that is much or significantly larger than another part. Those are not quarters or fourths. The square, however, is divided into one, two, three, four equal parts. Four equal parts are called quarters or fourths. And again, I ready is going, Yahoo, you got it. Now, which shape is one fourth of a circle? One fourth is going to be one of those four equal parts. It's the same as a quarter of a circle. Well, I have a whole circle over here. That can't be right. That's the whole thing. That's one whole. When I look at the orange piece, hmm, I wonder if I put four of these pieces together, would I be able to make a whole? Would four of these pieces make a whole? You know, I think they would. Let's check our last option. Wait a minute, I saw this purple guy on Wednesday when we were talking about halves. This represents a half of a circle or some people call a semicircle. That's a half, that's two equal parts of the circle. I want one fourth or one quarter of the whole circle. That's our orange piece. We call that a quarter circle. Okay. Now, as I mentioned previously, this iReady video is going to be available to you in your Samore. Now, keep in mind that the background of your Samore might look a little bit different. Our teachers work together on the first grade team to put together the some more, but then they might change the background to something they like better. So it could look a little bit different, but all the content is the same. So let's say that we are on our some more and we have our anchor charts. We've got our vocabulary and we want to access that iReady video. Well, right below your anchor charts, you're going to see need more help. Click me for an iReady video. If you click on this button, which is right above where you submit your Microsoft form, you're going to be taken to a Nearpod. Now, every time you open these Nearpod friend, Nearpods friends, you're going to see Mr. Hollis's name. That's because he's the person at school who helped us set this up. Instead, you're gonna type in your name. You're gonna click this join session button and your iReady video is going to pop up and it's going to play the whole thing, not just the piece I showed you. So you would be able to go back and do everything, the whole piece, not just get it, whole, we're talking about partition, partitioning, not just quarter, not just half, the whole video. So that video is living inside of your some more please go back and access it, especially if you're a friend that's working on a phone that otherwise can't get on iReady. This is a great way to still get that iReady information. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I hope that now we have a lot more clarity on fourths or quarters, and we know that fourths or quarters are four equal parts that are put together to make a whole. Go ahead and complete your Microsoft form and let us know if you have any questions. Bye, friends.